Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ole Flamenco, Flamenco Mondays on the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. I'm Eve Costarelli. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a fan, or in Spanish, abanico, and it is used as a prop for a flamenco dancer. And when we're practicing our wrists in our exercises, you would see that as I use the fan, I'm doing the same thing, one with my hand and the other with the fan. The other hand still works, even when one hand has the fan. The other hand can't just hang by his side like a, a dead fish. So it's gotta be active too. We use some props in flamenco to help us express our emotions. One of the ways you can use a fan is very light and fast. Dun, 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 dun. And that's playful. It could also be as if it was the cape of a matador. So it's deep and, and deep sensation, strong. And that's one of the most important things about flamenco is the emotive part of it, the part that we express our emotions while we're dancing. Inside of the heart of a flamenco artist is a thing called duende. It's the spirit that allows you to dig deep, deep, deep into the soul of who you are to give forth the art of flamenco. It's called duende, D-U-E-N-D-E. -E. And it has been described as a devilish imp, a little elf that lives inside that has to get out and it comes out emotively. Sometimes the flamenco dancer has a very serious, strong face. It's not because they're angry or mad or, or upset. It's that they're letting their emotions come out. So today when we're dancing, I'm gonna really encourage you to allow your emotions to come out so that you feel the sensation of what you're dancing, okay? So we're gonna start with a follow me warm up. You're just, I'm gonna step back a little bit and you're just going to do what I'm doing. And then we'll learn some steps we've already learned before. We're gonna put them together, maybe in a slightly different way. And we're gonna to get to do some dancing so we can express our emotions. Wonderful, let me turn on some background music for us just to warm up with. It's the rhythm that we've been using. It's called the tangos. Breathe in, arms up, crisscross at the top, arms down. Nice, just breathe in when we go up, breathe in up. Breathe out down. Let's go up the center, we cross our wrist, rise up. To the top, first out as you breathe out. Let's do that again, breathe in. Do your own speed right here, just because I don't want anybody to hurt their neck. 
Snap to the center. Good. Roll your shoulders back. Good. Keep going. And now we'll roll them to the front. I'm going to do a little arm exercise. I'm just going to show it to you. We're going to do shoulders back. Then we're going to put our hands on our shoulders and make a mini circle. And then we're going to do a big circle back. So it's shoulders only, hands and shoulders, or elbows we'll call it, and then big sweep. Good, let's do that again. Shoulders, sorry, arms, big circle one more time. Shoulders front, arms are around, big circle, we'll change the direction. Forward with the shoulders, forward with the elbows, forward with the arms. Good, again, here we go. Forward with the shoulders, forward with the arms, and then big, oh, like you're just diving into the pool. Good, let's do it again. Forward, arms, around, shoulders, around, again, shoulders, around, one more time, shoulders, and around, good, just shake everything. Let's just shake for a moment. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your legs, shake your arms, shake your elbows, shake your hands, shake your head. Good, stand very still. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Awesome. We're gonna practice with our hands and our wrists now to get our hands ready for later. We have, I'll come a little closer, just so you can see my hands. Good. Other way now. Push away. Push away. Push away. Push away. Five. Six. We're going to reach up. Wrists. 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 Five. Six. Seven. Other way. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Okay, big arms wide, hands, two, three, hold your arms up, don't let them get saggy, five, six, seven, other way, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, keep going, siete, y ocho, by your side, in, two, last sets, come on, keep going, don't give up, five, six, seven, and eight, other way, goes around. Two, three, four, five. Keep your shoulders down. Seven, good, hands on hips. Let's make some circles with our hips. Just around and around, kind of loosening up our hips so they'll be ready to move when we're dancing. Nice, round. One more big circle. Now we're gonna go the other way. Change whatever your direction is to the other direction now. Just a few more. Let's stop right here. Now we're just practicing some footwork. We're stamping our feet. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Just make it nice and solid. Stamping down, I'll turn, bam, down, down. See how I'm kicking right up here? And I'm not bringing my knees out in front of me, right? And my body is not bouncing around. It's staying level, because I'm holding my stomach muscles strong. Let's walk forward. Walk, walk, walk. Five, six, I'm getting close. Seven, eight, walk back, goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's walk front again. Walk, walk, make it stylish. Three, four, express your emotion here. Six, seven, eight, walk back like you're sneaking back. Take 
take a big breath in, arms up to the top. Pause that. Arms down to the bottom. Good. Let your hands rest by your side for a moment. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. So today, when we're doing our dancing, I'm going to teach you a, a part of a new step. It's going to incorporate the use of walking, and then we have to learn what's called a ball change. So I'm going to turn around to the side so you can see me sideways, because that's the best way to see it, I think. When I want to do a ball change, and what that means is that the... <laughs> I'll use my tap shoe for a moment. This is the ball of the foot. It's the front part of the foot where your toes press down, like if you're gonna press up on your toes. And this is the heel, ball and heel. So what you wanna do is you're gonna pick up the foot. You're gonna put the ball down. See, I don't put my heel down, but I put my weight on it for a moment, and then I step back again onto the front foot. Let's try that again. Bring your feet together, right? Pick up one foot. Step the foot back a little bit, so it's gonna be on the ball of the foot, rock onto the foot, and put the weight down in front again. So what happens is you go one, two, three, ball, change. We can even practice repeatedly if we just leave our foot up in the air. We step back, we step front. We step back, we step front. Three, I'm gonna do eight, four, back, front, six, front, seven, front, eight, front, feet together. We have to practice on the other side. I'm gonna turn this way so you can just watch me again with the foot that's closest to you. I bring my foot up in the air and I'm gonna rep practice it repeatedly for eight times. I'm going to step back. We'll try it a little slowly first because we haven't done this one yet. This is a new foot for you probably. Four, whoops, I'm a little wobbly. Here, back, front. See, I pick my foot up. Once I put this foot down in the front, I make sure this foot isn't on the ground anymore, the foot that was stepping in the back. So here, let's practice eight. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Feet together. And it has a little bit more of a bum bum, a little bit faster sounding. So it's like ball change. It's almost like I'm trying to run and then I stop. So ball change. Ball change, ball change. Let's try that with our first foot. Ready? Let's just try it. Ready? Ball change, go. Ball change. Again. Ball change. Again. Three, hands on hips. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Yikes. Eight. Put your feet down. Other side. Here we go. Pick your foot up. Ready? Ball change. Ball change, ball change, good, keep going. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, okay, so we have that to tie that in with a little bit of walking. The rhythm is gonna be walk, 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 ball change. And that will look like this. Walk, walk, walk. Now I'm on that front foot. I pick up the other foot to go ball change. Let's see that again. I'm going to do it sideways. Walk, 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 ball change. Okay. We're gonna need that in the second step of our dance. So we're gonna practice that now with our walkings. You're gonna walk around in a circle and do four of those. All right, so here we go. We'll put our hands on our hips. We're gonna to walk to the right first. Walk, 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 
ball change. Walk, 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 ball change. Walk, 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 ball change. Walk, walk, see I'm coming back to the camera again. Ball change, I go the other way. Walk, 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 ball change. Walk, 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 ball change. Number three, two, three, ball change. Back to the camera, to the front, three, together. It has a little bit of a different ending because we need to finish it so we can do the special break that comes at the end. And I'm going to teach that to you now too. I call it out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. And that looks like this. Out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. So the second one is a little faster. It's the same footwork, and I'm not telling you what foot to be on, so it doesn't matter to me. You can do it either one foot that starts and goes, it's okay. One is slow and one is fast and kind of staccato. Beep, 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 beep. Fast, 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 fast. All right, here we go. Out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. Take a moment to practice that. I want to mention for the people who might be sitting in chairs for the dancing part, and you're saying, well, I'm sitting in a chair or I'm in a chair. I can't walk around, right? Well, you could either, if your feet are on the floor and you can use your feet, you could still go walk, two, three, ball change. That's one possibility. If that's not a possibility, you could use your hands. Walk, 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 ball change. Walk, 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 ball change. You have to make the dance fit you, and that's a great way because it sounds, it's a rhythm if you're using your hands, same as if you were hearing the feet. So I like that as an option. And if you have a better one, please message me and let me know so that I know another way to offer as an option. Okay, so we haven't done all our dancing um, in a row. Sometimes I teach a little bit of choreography and then the next week I may do a little cardio flamenco. But we're going to go back to the original dance that I was teaching, which starts with our clapping. And it's the single claps for four, which sound like this. One, two, three, four. Two claps. We just do two on the fourth one, so we have like a punctuation mark, a big exclamation point at the end of our clapping sentence. Okay? Let's practice that together. We're going to do that two times in a row. Hands are up and hands are clasped like this. Like I take my two hands and make little kind of C shapes and then I just fit the two C's together. My thumbs are crossed and the hands rest right inside each other and make a nice puffy air sound. All right, stand up nice and tall. Pull your belly muscles in. Bend your knees a little bit and we start with a stamp on our right foot. Stamp, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three. Again goes one, two, three, four. Did you remember to do two claps? Gotta put that in your head. Good for you if you remember it. And next time, just try to tell yourself in advance, got to remember four, two claps. Then we do a second clapping and we make it a little sharper sounding. I actually use flat hands, rather little teeny C's to make a sharp sound, right? And that has a quicker clap and I'll show you and demonstrate it and then we'll practice it together. One, two, Three, number four is just two claps. Okay, wonderful. All right, stand up tall again. 
Tuck in that belly muscles, bend your knees a little bit. Let's practice the fast one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, claps. Again goes one, two, three, four, two, claps. And then we end. Clap in the front, hit your chest, hit your chest, hit your thigh, hit your thigh, stamp, stamp. Clap, hit, hit, thigh, thigh, stamp, stamp, again. Again. So after that, we start our walks. Oh, we bring our arm up and down. We switch to the other foot, up, cross and down. Switch again, but now this time we go up the center, up the center and out and up the center. See, I switched. And out and then I wait right there and I'm gonna do shoulder shoulder rest rest shoulder shoulder and I pull my foot together okay that's where we start our walking we put our hands on our hips walk 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 ball change walk 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 Ball change, walk, 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 ball change. Back to the front, two, three, other way. Walk, 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 walk. Last time we just take three walks. Walk, walk, together. And then we do our out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in, ready, go. Out, out, in, in, rest, rest, out, out, in, in. Doorknobs and back. See where we are. If you've been following along, you know this step already. Back. And if you don't, just follow along now. We turn to the side, right side and back. And left side and back. And right side. And back, now left, up, apple, reach, apple, and down, and two, and down, and three, and down, and four, to the side, reach up, goes apple, to the side, you can brush your hair if you like, up, right, you throw it down if we want, that is the emotion we're expressing, and then we do our jump rope break, which looks like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a jump. Jump, jump, rest, rest, jump, jump. That's it. It's four little jumps there. Okay? So let's get through that. I don't know if we'll have enough time to continue on with some foot. Yes, we do. We have time to do some footwork too. Let's add in that footwork we had done before so we have the ending of our dance. Our hand goes on our hips. And we start with stamping. We move to double stamping. We move to what I call takadimi. Then we go as fast as we possibly can and our arms will rise up above our head. They'll come down and then we jump out. We go ole at the end because we're just cheering for ourselves. We're our own cheering squad. All right, so stamping goes like this. One, two, three, And double time goes one and two, three, four, five and six and seven. Takadimi, 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 takadimi. Six, seven, eight. Now let's.
So I don't know if we have a lot. We might have that little jumping break. Do we do that at the end? I think we do. We go jump out, cross over, spin around, and then say ole. That's it. So at the end of the fastest footwork that you can do, and the arms come down, we go jump open, jump across, turn around, ole. Okay, wow, we did a lot today. Clapping. This movement. Two, three, four. Shoulder, shoulder, rest, rest. Shoulder, shoulder, foot comes together. Right? Walking with our ball change. It ends with a open, it in, rest, rest, a open, it in. Doorknobs, apples. Jump rope break. Whew, I gotta remind myself. Jump, jump, footwork, open cross turn. Pachoom. Let's try it. Boy, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna do it two times in a row. Sorry, my music isn't playing yet. There we go. It starts with clapping. Here we go. One. Oh, 
awesome. How did everybody do? So wonderful. We really only have one enough time. We only have enough time to practice that once today. I did a lot of work. I felt very inspired to teach you something new today. So we really learned something new. So next week, we're going to continue with this a little bit more. So remember to go back over this video during the week so you can practice and be ready so we can really dance and we can go faster because I have faster music. Once again, welcome and thank you from Eve Costarelli on the Native Recreation Park YouTube channel, Ole Flamenco Mondays. Thank you so much. See you again next time.